Hi everyone, welcome to Wesno's Tech News and Reviews. Well, the Honor smartwatch range have proved that yes, they can be magically good. And in fact, the Honor Magic Watch 2, excuse the pun, is magically good. It has blown the market apart. For a very budget price, you got a lot of great functionality. You got so much sports, health and well-being features and functions that no other competitor in this price range could actually stand and fight the battle. But about a month ago, well specifically five weeks ago, Honor released the Honor Watch ES. And that watch stands one notch below the Honor Magic Watch 2 42mm in the Honor Smartwatch range. So what we're going to do in this review is we're going to take the Honor Watch ES, we're going to put it up directly against the Honor Magic Watch 2 42mm and we're going to see what are the differences, how major the differences are and should you consider the Honor Watch ES instead of the Honor Magic Watch 2. If you are new to Wesno's tech news and reviews, we talk about the latest tech news. We do brutally honest reviews and share hacks and tricks along the way. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and bell notification so you don't miss out. The major differences between the Honor Watch ES and the Honor Magic Watch 2 42mm lie in their prices. So for example, the Honor Watch ES costs 99 quid or $120. The Honor Magic Watch 2 42mm is sold for £130 or $150. Of course, the differences don't stop there. You get major differences in design, in build quality and of course the GPS setup. But these two watches are not only about differences, there are a lot of overlaps and commonalities and we're going to talk about them. Some of these are medically certified sleep stages tracking. You also get on both watches SPO2 monitoring and continuous and on demand stress monitoring. Both offer a lot of sport modes. We are talking a lot. So the Honor Magic Watch 2 gives you 100 sport modes, but the Honor Watch ES gives you 95. That's huge either way. Both have auto activity recognition. On top of that, both have huge AMOLED displays. Even though the Honor Watch ES is a more rectangular shape and has a 1.64 inch screen, the Honor Magic Watch 2 has a 1.2 inch display. And it's also AMOLED, so very bright, very crisp, all the rest of it. So now I think it's time to get into the differences. And I think the obvious place to start is design, because the two watches do look significantly different from each other. Honor Magic Watch 2 is an exemplary piece of kit. The watch case is metal, nothing finicky here. In fact, the case is made of refined 316L stainless steel. This steel grade is actually aerospace industry grade due to low corrosion qualities. The watch has a pleasantly solid feel to it, but still so light at just 29 grams. The watch is super elegant and stylish. Now, the ES does look and feel more budget and bland. The watch case is plastic, that says it all really. Glass front, plastic back and plastic frame. With the Magic Watch 2, there's no bezel as such. The glass is brim to brim, edge to edge and hence looks extremely premium. The ES has a bezel around the rectangular glass and it's plasticky, but it is lighter at just 21 grams. Let's look at the lugs and the straps on these two smartwatches. With the Honor Magic Watch 2, it's all good. The lugs are metal, their design is in line with the premium metal case finish. On the ES, on the other hand, you get plastic lugs just like the case. The bands on both smartwatches are 20 millimeters and are interchangeable with third-party bands. So you can spice it up with the leather band or another color or whatever you may like. But take a look at the classic watch-like clasps. Once again, on a Magic Watch 2 screams premium with a metal clasp and brand logo on the edge. The ES opted for a cheap looking plastic clasp and there's no logo here. Now let's jump onto the displays on these two smartwatches. So what are the commonalities? Well, they are both using AMOLED displays. The colors are very bright. The contrast is deep. The blacks are very pronounced. They're great screens. But the differences do lie, of course, in the shape and of course, the size of the screens. Let's get into it. 
the Honor Magic Watch 2 houses a 1.2 inch AMOLED display, while the ES gets a huge 1.64 inch display. Both get the 3 to 6 PPI resolution, the display specs are largely same, with always on display, auto brightness, downloadable faces are available on both. I think it's obvious that the Honor smartwatch range is primarily focused on health, well-being and fitness functionality. That explains the certified sleep stages tracking, the stress monitoring, the breathing apps. There are just so many sport modes available on all of their smartwatch. And hence, let's get into the differences and the overlaps of the fitness, health and well-being features of the Honor Watch ES as well as the Honor Magic Watch 2. Both get a huge array of sport modes. Where the Honor Magic Watch 2 gets 100 sport modes, the Honor Watch ES gets 95. Either way, I think that's excellent. That's quite a lot. Either way, 95 or 100, at this price point, you are not gonna get any other tracker with as many sport modes. So now that we're going to be talking about sport and fitness, we need to mention the GPS setup. So the ES only has connected GPS, while the Honor Magic Watch 2 has inbuilt dual GPS. Now, what's the difference between inbuilt and connected? Well, you see, with inbuilt GPS, it means that you can go out on your cycles, on your runs, you can go hiking, you don't need to take your phone with you to track your distance and speed. But with connected GPS, that means you always need to have your smartphone with you and the watch connects to your smartphone for the GPS signal. That's the major difference between inbuilt and connected GPS. So if you are a keen runner or enjoy open water swimming, your preference will lie with the Honor Magic Watch 2. But if it's just the pool you use, then both will be an option for you. You see, another great feature within Honor watches is that all exercises are goal-based. And you don't get that even on higher-end watches that may cost anywhere from twice as much or more. You can set up your sport modes with individual goals. Let's say you want to do pool swimming. You can set up the time, say 50 minutes or an hour, or you can have calories burn goal or the number of laps you want to swim. The watch will vibrate and alert you once the goal is accomplished. Now, what I'm going to show you is really cool. So just because the Honor Magic Watch 2 is great, they didn't make the ES look cheaper and just replace or reduce the functionality on the watch ES, no. So if you recall, on the Honor Magic Watch 2, we had a dedicated running app with 13 courses of varying intensities, but that's because it has inbuilt GPS. Now on the ES, you get 12 animated workouts. So basically that's 44 animated gestures which you get on this band right here. Let me show you what it looks like. There's 44 distinct animated gestures. This is actually an amazing piece of kit. The animated exercises with gesture demonstration is a dream to look at. And on top, these are great for the user. And that's you and me. It ensures we do the exercises the right way. Another major difference for me between the two watches is music storage. So the Honor Magic Watch 2 has 4 GB of inbuilt storage and about half of that or just over 2.2 gigabytes can be used to download music to your wrist. Now with the ES, you can't do that. There's no inbuilt storage. So all you do is if you have your smartphone with you, you have music control and you can control the playback from the watch face. You know, I think we've covered most of the big differences. Now let's look at the commonalities, the overlaps, because they are also quite important. Because I want you to see that the ES is not just a downgraded version of the Honor Magic Watch 2. Oh no, it is still a very good and strong piece of kit. It can do a lot and it can take you a long way for a very small price. Both use the infamous TrueSleep tech for sleep stages monitoring. It's actually certified by Harvard Medical School. This tech provides you with details on light, deep and REM sleep, and even supplies sleep scores and personalized insights on how to get a better night's sleep. The watches also have True Relax, which is actually a stress level monitor that can be used on demand or tracked continuously throughout the day in the background. On top of that, whenever you are feeling stressed out or having a panic attack, there is a guided breathing app to help you relax and lower stress levels via guided breathing exercises. Let's touch upon battery life on both of these trackers. So of course the manufacturer does claim slightly inflated battery life. So on the Honor Magic Watch 2, you can expect to get anywhere between five and seven days of typical usage. That's with always on display, that's with GPS. Now, with the Honor Watch ES, you can get slightly more. You're looking about eight to 10 days of typical usage. 
which is still very good. So who are these watches for? And which one do you choose in the end? I think it all comes down to what you love and what your goals are. If you love your running and you love to go out on those long cycles, runs, hikes, then you need the Honor Magic Watch 2 because it does have inbuilt GPS and inbuilt storage for your music. But now, if you are a gym junkie, if you go to the pool for your local and if you go to your local pool for swimming, then the ES will suit you just fine. Both are waterproof. But with this one, it's just, it's a bit cheaper. It does all the things you need. On top of that, it's got a dedicated workout app. So you still get your gesture control. You can have a look how to do certain exercises. It's great. Both of these trackers will help you build up your fitness, strength, health, and well-being. Now, this one is a bit more specialized with the dual GPS. This one is a bit less specialized. It's a great all-rounder with a huge 1.64 inch screen. After you've made the decision about the GPS setup that you actually need, you need to think about the design. Because the Honor Magic Watch 2 looks super premium. While the S does look more budget and a bit more sporty with its more squarish or rectangular shape. Also, the watch case on the Honor Magic Watch 2 is all metal. But with the ES, it's all plastic. It's got a bezel. It just doesn't look as premium. So again, it all comes down to personal preferences. By the way, thank you to everybody who has already subscribed to the Wesnos channel. If you haven't though, please click on the red subscribe button below the screen to make sure you don't miss out on any of the new content coming out.